Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be changing my halogen headlights to LEDs. This is a cheaper replacement than buying a whole new headlight as they are like $1,500. This kit that I bought is just the bulbs and what comes in the boxes. I'll show you those in a little bit, but they're much cheaper than buying a whole new headlight assembly. And if this works out, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can try this for yourselves. But this is my 2020 Bighorn Ram 1500. Um, it did not come with LEDs, obviously, because I'm making this video, but it came with just these stock headlights. Um, so yeah, if you have this truck with the stock headlights, with not the LEDs, this should this video should work for you. So on to the next step. Hey guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get in your truck and you're gonna open the hood with the hood latch. I'm gonna pop that come over here you want to put your hand in here and then you're going to feel a lever push to the left do this with one hand i'm going to pull up there you go here's my engine my 57 hemi um so basically the driver's side is going to be much easier just for the fact that the air box is on the passenger side and the headlight actually rests underneath it so the manual does say to take this air box out but I'll figure it out as we go. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna remove the bottom assembly just so we can push it up and over just to get to the lights because they are in there right there. So, but for the first one, we're gonna do the driver's side because you can obviously see it's right there and right there. I can reach into them pretty easily and we can get a good gauge of how each one's gonna look. So yeah, on the next step. Guys, so the first thing I would recommend doing is get yourself a good pair of lights, magnetic lights preferably. You're really going to want to see what you're doing in there, so just get some good lights. I have this Caterpillar one and then just a cheap little Harbor Freight one. But guys, seriously, anything helps. I wouldn't recommend using your phone because you might drop it or lose it or crack it. So these are magnetic. They'll just stick right onto anything really in the engine bay. And they're super bright, so we'll be able to see what we're doing. And that's most important. You do not want to mess up anything in this step because obviously it's your truck. And so guys, just a little gauge. This is the high beam. This is the stock one, and that's the high beam on the wall there. So that is the low beam, high beam. <coughs> so yeah, that's a little gauge. I mean, I know it's pretty light outside right now, but for now, that's just what we can show. Later tonight, when it's dark out, I'll go for a ride and I'll show you guys. But again, that is the low beam, and then is the high beam. All right, guys, so this is what comes in the box when I when you get these. I don't know if you are going to get the exact same ones, but this is just what comes in the box. So we have our 905s or 9005s and our H11s. Um, just a quick little unboxing for you guys. I already opened one of these up, and that's one the one I opened up. Um, but basically, it just comes with a little user's manual. Uh, the outputs, the heat sink material, all the good stuff, everything, how to put it in. Yeah, pretty neat. Um, oh, it's even got a QR code for the website and the service. So if you need help with anything, I guess, just QR code that. Uh, redeem a free gift, that's useless. So they come with gloves because you do not want to get oils from your fingers on these. I actually recommend washing your hands with dish soap before you do this, uh, just to get all the debris and oil off. Just you, you just better be safe than sorry. So we'll put those in there. Yeah, these are the, and if you do pick them up, pick them up by the plug connector here. So this is it. This is our headlight. This is our 9005. Give you a nice little close up. There you go. Now these were around 30 bucks per box. So the pair of two 9005s was 30 bucks and then the H11s were 30 bucks. So all in all this, I'm in the hole about 65 bucks, including shipping, which versus 
whatever it is for new LED headlights from actual Ram themselves, which is like 1600 bucks. I'll take it. I'll take 65 bucks over 1500 any day. So I'm not really going to open this one until we get to it. Um, it's, it's literally just the same thing inside as the one I just opened. This is the H11, but that's what it comes like from the package or the factory. <clears throat> and it just comes with gloves, same thing, the manual and everything. So I'm just going to put that back on there, but yeah, that's, that's it. So it's just the same package as this one. It's just a different type of bulb. That's it. So it, you're going to expect the same for both if you get this brand off Amazon. All right, guys, because we are working with the battery in your truck, put some glasses on just for safety. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect the negative terminal on your battery. Once you have it loosened, you should be able just to slide up and off. Once you have it loosened up, um, you're just going to wiggle it up and off and make sure to put it over somewhere or it's not gonna come back and touch the leads. So just put it up and over, away from everything. Just so, yeah, you guys can see that. Just so it's not gonna touch it. And yeah, that's how you disconnect the terminal. So yeah, on the next step. Okay guys, so once you've disconnected the negative terminal on your battery to take the ground away from your truck, you're ready to actually start taking the bulbs out. So this is your high beam right here, and this is your low beam. Your low beam is the H11, so this is the light that the H11 bulb is gonna go into, and then your high beam is the 9005, which is what you're gonna put that bulb into. So, and you can see it right here. This right here is this one right here. This is your high beam, and then it goes back, which is your low beam. So we're gonna be putting the, yeah. So this is gonna be high beam right here. You can see it come over here. You can see from here. It's literally right there. And then back is right here. So, or right there. Alright guys, so if you could see that, there's a little tab that you have to pull up on and then everything should just slide out. So be careful not to break that tab because that's the only thing holding these, this connection together. So you just have to pull up and pull out. Okay guys, so make sure to keep these um, just in case the ones you bought don't work for some reason. Um, I'm gonna actually going to keep these because they're perfectly good headlights. They're from a brand new truck. It's not like they're used or anything. So I'm actually just going to put them in the slots where I replaced them so they're safe and nothing's going to touch them. So as I switch them, I'm just going to put them back where they were, the old ones. So yeah, guys, so as I said before, you're going to want to put the gloves on that came with it so you don't get any oils from your fingers onto the actual bulbs here because then they'll be ruined and that would suck. Um, so assembly is just like this assembly, just but reverse. We're going to plug it back in and then you're going to twist it into the headlight and then you're going to take the cap and then twist that on too. And then that's it. And then we have to do that three more times. And there you go. You got your LED headlights. Okay. okay once they snap in like that, then you're going to put the headlight back in the high beam we're on to the low beam the low beam is tucked back here more it's behind this wiring harness right here 
and you're gonna have to you can only feel one of these fins coming off so you push it towards yourself you can feel it kind of move and it'll come out slightly so you're rotating it so you're rotating it counterclockwise yep and then as it's turning it's coming out so now I felt it pop out I gotta grab it gotta get it to come out My dad got it off and I'm going to put it back in because I want to learn how to do this. Uh, so this tab is a little different. As you can see, if you take it apart, you have to push down with your thumb and pull out. But if you can't, get your fingernail in between it and kind of press and pull at the same time. Yeah. So it'll be obvious. When it'll be look obvious, look. yeah. It's, yeah. It's a, it is a little different than the first connector. The, yeah, the, for the high beam. Yeah. Um, but you'll see when you look at the connector, know. just press on it and it'll come apart. Exactly. You'll figure it out. Yeah. So you want to put this in so to make sure it's lined up properly this little nub on the back is what this clip's going to latch onto you want to line those up you want to get this in here okay guys so we got the left side done and we're going to show you the difference now against the wall i know it's not really like the most scientific but it's what we've got so we're going to shine it against the wall and i did show you guys before um what both look like so we're just going to show you the new one and the old one. Okay guys, so we just moved on to the passenger side. The high beam is easily accessible somewhat, and the low beam is not really accessible without taking either the air filter off or the inner liner out. And we've decided that the air box was easier to take out, so we'll find out how easy it is in a couple minutes. Okay guys, so to take the air box off, you're gonna have to take this hose clamp off with a flat head right here. And then you have these two pilots right here with rubber little bushings on them that you'll be able just to pull up on so I'll show you guys how to do that just now there you go you got it okay now I just gotta go to the side okay it's away Is it? Box. It's a stock box. Should I have to check the filter while we have this on? out um, once you have this hose clamp off you have to pull it towards you and up to get these to get it over these little nibs in the side here um, they're just little rubber grommets on the actual air box so they will bend so don't worry about that so you just want to pull it towards you and up and there you go so once we have these covers off we're gonna leave the lamps in and disconnect them while they're still in so that way we don't have to worry about the wires as much Especially with the low beam being as a, as a different connector, um, just want to push down. There we go. This one's still pretty hard to get to, but it's a lot easier once you remove the air box. So, just gotta push. Okay, so once you have this one off, okay, now I'm just going to see if there's a 
Okay guys, so starting with the high beam, you want to go in here and take your thumb and you want to pry down on the little lever. And then once it's off, the connector's off, you want to turn counterclockwise. And then you, once you feel it come off, you're just going to want to pull out. And then there you go. There's your high beam. Um, same thing with the other side. We're going to put them back to where we took them from. So I kind of, let's see, let's see which one these are. Which one? So this is a 905 for the high beam. So we're gonna find a 905 over here, or 9005, my bad. It's at pitch 11, okay. So once you have the old one out, you're gonna wanna put it where the new one was. So that way you have them both secure, just in case these go out for some reason, you have a whole set. I mean, I know they're not LEDs, but you still have some. So I'm gonna put that there. And then before we put it in, I'm gonna put my gloves on. Okay guys, so moving on to the low beam, you wanna put your thumb in here. You wanna push down. You push on the connector, right? Push on the disengage. connector. So you're disengaging the connector, and then you're sliding it down. Okay, so once you got that off, so I have the connector off. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, Move your hand. So yeah. So once the connector's off, you're gonna wanna turn counterclockwise just like the other ones. And there's your low beam. And we're gonna put the low beam back where the new one is coming from. And then you just wanna make sure, just double check them. And because I don't have gloves on, make sure to grab them by the connectors. So this one says H11 here. And then on the bottom, so it's H11. So just that way we're not mixing them up or anything. Let's put this one back. Okay. Okay guys, so the low beam is what we're gonna be starting with, uh, the H11. You're gonna wanna put it in and then twist it. Uh, don't worry about connecting it yet, as that'll come later. And again, same with the other ones. Don't be afraid to look, to help you line it up. Okay guys, so to put the clip on the low beam, you had to not have it screwed in. It's almost impossible to get the clip on while it's screwed in, so we had to take it out. So now that we have everything back together, we're gonna go ahead and put the cover on. Okay, now that's on. Now we gotta put the airbags back on, same way as we took it apart, and that's it. Okay guys, so once you put this in kind of once you're before you do anything you want to put this hose on just like halfway um, you can do that later so to line everything up this box right here you want to line these two pins up okay so now that we have these two pins lined up as you can see um, you just want to push down so you can see that both these nubs That both these nubs are over these rubber grommets. That is super important because you will not have a good fit over here, and that's where you get all your air from to get into the engine. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that these, both these nubs are over these rubber grommets. So now that we have that, you're going to want to put this. You want to put this hose clamp over these nubs, so that might take a little finagling. Okay, guys. So once you have this in on all three points, you're just going to want to tighten this hose clamp up here. Also, uh, we didn't mention it before we put this all together, but you're gonna wanna go ahead and test your lights before you put the air back, the air box back on. That way if you screwed something up, that way you don't have to take everything back apart. So that hose clamp is on tight. Just double check everything. Make sure everything is on. These rubber grommets are on. Both of them, this box down here. Okay guys, so that's it. That's how to install LED headlights onto your stock halogen headlights. Um, yeah. And we'll give you a look. We'll give you a look actually right now. Just shut the hood. There's nothing in here, right? Shut the lights off. Yeah, shut the lights off. You guys have a look. Okay guys, so this is the brand new LED bulbs in our stock halogen lights.
know that's low beam and this is high beam. Obviously, guys, I like this mod a lot. This is one of the best mods we've done to this car. It's great. We just got done with both headlights. Um, I'm gonna insert a clip now of me driving later tonight so you guys can really get a feel for how bright these are. I know, you know, headlights against a white wall isn't really a good, a good gauge, so I'll insert that clip now. Um, so overall this project was not really difficult as long as you follow the steps that we showed you. Um, just the difficult parts were just getting the bulbs in and making sure they're oriented right inside the actual headlight. So yeah, thanks for watching today. I hope you guys subscribe and check out our Instagram. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hey guys, don't forget to check out our Instagram. We post here more often than YouTube. So if you want to get an inside scoop before then, make sure to check us out. We post new things almost daily. So yeah, thanks for watching today and make sure to check it out.